Hi, welcome to Mimosa. Mimosa is the acronym for magnifying immersiveness by manipulating objects in spatial audio. As the name implies, the goal of this study is to use fruitful interaction strategies Mimosa provides to convert the monorail audio into spatial audio and make the sound effect more immersive and realistic. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the system. The video screen is displayed here. Depending on the number of sound sources, there are several colored circles appearing on top of the screen. The color is corresponding to the detected sound source. The dot represents the position. This position is given by default from the backend algorithm of Mimosa, but you can arbitrarily drag it to change the position. The spatial effect will also change accordingly. Around the video preview panel, there are several volume indicators, the number of which is decided by the current channel mode, which you can change here. Right now, we support the monorail, stereo, quad, which is four channels, and 5.1 channel mode. Down here at the video control bar, there are several volume. You can use these buttons to switch between videos, and these two buttons are used for skipping to previous and next one second. The bottom in the middle is used for play or pause control. Each separated soundtrack will be displayed in this region with its name and color. You can change the name here or the color you want. So the range of XY coordinates is from minus one to one, and Z coordinate is from zero to one, where zero is the closest and one is the farthest. You can also directly change the position here instead of dragging. The icon here is used for control the volume of each soundtrack independently. If you want to mute one soundtrack, just drag the slider to the bottom. On the right half side of the interface, you can see a simulated 3D coordinate. The camera represents the viewing angle, and the balls indicated by different colors represents the position of sensors in 3D coordinate. Noticing that the coordinates and color of the 3D coordinate video previewing panel, and here, they are connected. Once you want to change the position of an object, either a ball or a camera, you can just click it. Then a co coordinate will show up, where you can move the object in axis, panel, or arbitrary. Instead of, besides, during translation movement, you can also choose rotate. No matter you are doing rotate or translation, the spatial effect will change accordingly. Once you have finished spatializing this video, just click save. When the download window shows up, you just name it and click save. 
Thank you again for using our system.